a thousand years from now, a perfect world. Laser tag champion Jamie Jaron is the sole possessor of starlight power. Until the resurrection of a master criminal from the past, Draxon Greer. Races through time in his quest to conquer the future. He is pursued by Jamie Jaron. Jamie must team with her ancestors, Tom, Beth, and Nikki Jaron. Join us now in their adventure through time to preserve the past, save the future, and keep the peace established by the Laser Tag Academy. for Mars. I've got some friends there that will stash us till things cool down. <laughs> the ship's out of control! We're going down! Congratulations. You play a mean game. Thank you. Call for Jamie Jaron. Project. Hi, Professor Alonga. Jamie, a spacecraft, maybe a thousand years old, has been discovered in the Atlantic. Something like that could be very important for the Laser Tag Academy. Yes, all mankind can learn from it. I want you there when it's brought up. Over 
the water. Dump it. I'm getting a life reading. Get them to the Laser Tag Academy. <gasps> They're alive! is adjusted to the right intensity. It's critical to reviving them. They've been asleep for a thousand years on the bottom of the ocean. Oh, I still can't get over it. They were lucky. The gas that put them in suspended animation never leaked out of the ship. We're ready, Professor. Activate laser. Starlight, project the force field. Help! Professor! Jamie! You had your fun! Jamie, behind you! What are those things? Skugs. They were genetically engineered to serve man, but they didn't work out. They haven't made them in 700 years. <laughs> yeah, I can see they had a few faults. We'll just confine them. But I'm beginning to wonder about their traveling companion. I hope we haven't opened a box of snakes. I see you found the mind computer. Fascinating machine. I'm learning all about your perfect society. I can't imagine a world without police or crime. Is that going to be a problem for you, Mr. Dreer, considering your criminal background? A problem? I don't think so. In fact, it's going to make life quite simple. All right, Bobby. Give me another thousand pounds. You got it. This is the most I've been able to lift yet. You're doing great! <laughs> I still have some work to do on control. Oh, I hadn't noticed. That's quite a demonstration. You were able to move that slab with this? Are you kidding? She has the power. There's nothing Jamie and the old Starlight can't do. She can even travel in time. That's some power. And here at the Academy, I'm developing that power for good. In fact, with a starlight and a star sensor, I can go anywhere. That's why you're here. You may have the same powers as Jamie. How? Let me show you. When we brought you out of suspended animation, we did a gene scan. You are genetically linked to Jamie. You are blood relatives. They do sort of look alike. And since only certain members of our family have the power, Professor Alonga wanted to see if you... If I have it too, how do I make it work? Just point and think. <laughs> Professor, make him turn it off! <laughs> it's incredible! <laughs> Interesting device. Ah, 
evening, me darlings. Are you enjoying your dinner? Oh, it does me heart good to see you so happy. Let the skugs out. I can't do that. You're that criminal from the past. Drax and Dreer, why aren't you in your room? Now that I have a starlight, I don't have to. A starlight? Oh, that's... that's harmless. Not the way I use it. <laughs> star sensors on. We're all taking a little trip back through time. We've got a date with my ancestor, Beth Jaren. Beth Jaren? Over here. You missed me. You've got to do better than that. Jackson, Greer, and the Skugs have escaped. I'll meet you at the Laser Tag Academy in an hour. See you there. Hey, I wasn't ready. You always have to be on your toes if you want to be a champion. According to my time tracker, he went back to 1987. Why did Dreer project himself back in time? He wants to take over our world. Then why go to 1987? The jailer says he went back after an ancestor of yours, Beth Jaren. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. She discovered the formula for the starlight projector. If he gets her... Dreer could put an end to our peaceful world. What can I do? You're the only person who can go back in time and stop Dreer. This is Beth Jaren. I've set the time coordinates on your starlight so you can put down right next to her. Jamie, you're the only one who can save our world and everything that the Academy stands for. What are we waiting for? 1987 is waiting. See you around, Professor. <laughs> It's gonna get killed. Get out of there! Professor, I think you made a small miscalculation. Tom, did you see that? She just jumped right up here. Yeah. How'd you do that? Hey, why are you wearing those funny looking clothes? <laughs> what are you doing, a TV commercial or something? I'm Jamie Jaren. I'm from the future. The what? The future. The year 3010. I'm a descendant of yours. I'm probably your great, 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 great granddaughter. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a pepperoni pizza. Let's go, Beth. Wait. Sorry, we don't talk to fruitcakes. No, really. I have to talk to you. You got two minutes. Hey, look, Jamie, whatever your real name is. Jaren, like yours. I keep telling you Beth's life is in danger. I don't normally slug girls, but if you don't take a hike, I'm gonna make an exception in your case. But you don't understand. I understand. You're a nutcase. And I don't want to hear any more about Drax and Dreer and the Skugs. Wow, what is this place? It's the mall. You know, where you go shopping. You have to buy things? Are you ready to go, Nikki? How was the party? I'm stuffed. You want my ice cream? So this is an ice cream cone. Are you for real? Hey, look! Somebody let the monkey go out of the pet store. Scuds! <laughs> What are those things? Like I've been trying to tell you, you hard headed ape. Those are Drax and Dreer Scuds. Get the girl. The girl, Beth, she's 
in there. Beth, get down! I'll get Nikki! Nikki! this yet. We've got to chase him. No. Dreer could project himself into another time and we'd never get Nikki back. Well, what are we supposed to do? Twiddle our thumbs? No. We wait. What are my parents gonna say when I tell them that Nikki's been kidnapped by a guy that hasn't even been born yet? It's Beth he wants. Sooner or later, Dreer will make a move. That's when we get your brother. Well, what kind of plan is that? We'll wait. Let's go find him. And where do you want to start looking? The age of the dinosaurs? I left the starlight right here on the counter. Did one of you move it? Ralphie. Ralphie! We've got to find it. Without the starlight, I can't use my power or travel in time. You take the house. Jimmy and I will start looking in the yard. It's got to be here someplace. Ralphie, I have an important question to ask you. Where did you bury my starlight? <laughs> I suppose in the future you talk with dogs. Of course we do. And all of them are a lot brighter than this mutt. Who's that? Girl, and what's that uniform she has on? I wonder what those gerunds are up to. Since Ralphie refuses to help, we can spend weeks looking in here. Ah, uh, you're right. Hey, I've got a way. Stay here. Ralphie, did you put Jamie's starlight in here? <laughs> <laughs> If you want to see your brother again, come alone to 10 Market Street. Drear! Hey, Ralphie, come here, boy. Uh, I sure hope this works, because it's going to be expensive. Bring me the starlight, Ralphie. It's working. Of course. <laughs> I thought of it. Bingo! There's the starlight. And my football, or what's left of it. I hope it still works. Still works? Ralphie changed my football into a frisbee with laces. I'm gonna get Beth. Perfect! A ray gun! Those funny clothes must be a spacesuit! Oh, I knew it! Those Jarens have their very own alien. I, 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 I. Bob, call the president! It's an alien invasion! Beth is gone. Dreer has her. What? You know where this place is? That's way across town. Let's go! Let us in! <laughs> Doesn't this thing fly? <laughs> fly? <laughs> Buses don't fly. What are you doing? Gaining some altitude. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you take us to Market Street? Jamie, I think he's a little airsick. You better take over. Hang on up here. <laughs> to bite him. He's not a nice man. Yes, well, we've got better things to do right now than satisfy your whims, little boy. Like what? Control the future. 
Taronga. I know you're there. We need to talk. I have Beth Jaren. Without her, there's no starlight. Without the starlight, your peaceful world will cease to exist. Surrender to me. You have no choice. Tell him to stop it. I'll get the kids. Jamie, Jared, get her! Over, Jamie. Too. But I couldn't control the forklift. It takes practice, Beth. It looks like Dreer trapped himself. I'll take him back to the academy. They're gone! Where did Dreer go, Jamie? He used his starlight to escape into time. Now that you're going to help me get Dreer, you're going to need starlights and sensors. I'll get those the next trip back to the future. We only have one more problem. Hi, kids. Did you hear what happened at the mall today? Yeah. Pretty wild stuff. Who's your friend, Tom? Uh, Dad, uh, this is Jamie Jaren. She's a, a foreign exchange student at our school. Yeah, and her other house didn't work out, so we thought she could stay here with us. Well, I guess it'll be all right, but you will have to call your host parents. Thank you. You don't know how much this really helps me out. Yeah, and you should see the neat things Jamie can do with a starlight. The what? Ralphie! That's our dinner! Come back here, you! Thank goodness for Ralphie. Welcome to 1987. <laughs> <laughs>